Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Nur Ain, aka Sunrari Makaveli. If you are a resident here, thank you for tuning in again. <laughs> okay, so today's video is very different from what I usually do, you know, that basic hair and makeup. Today, I am doing a DIY breastplate. Now, if you don't know what a breastplate is, a quick Google search will lead you to pictures like this. Yes, men wore these during war to protect their chest. And this kind of, this breastplate has evolved over time and is now a fashion accessory. During the 90s, it was made popular by designers such as Izumiyaki and Nudla. Recently made a comeback in 2019-2020 when Zendaya wore this iconic pink Tom Ford breastplate. Can I just say that I searched high and low to find this or one similar to it and I could not find it. Up until recently I came across this website over here. They make the most beautiful breastplate I have ever seen. The story was a little bit too expensive for me. I'm not gonna pay over 2k. So obviously being a creative that I am I decided to make this breastplate on my own you know a little DIY in total it cost me around 1,000 rand I'm gonna show you guys how I achieved this and how I style it stay tuned I swear it's gonna keep these feelings to myself now you're the one I'm thinking of my higher grandma rocket love for gravity I'd rather stay up here we can get away palm trees so first you're going to get a mannequin I suggest getting one that is close to your size Unfortunately I could only find a size small But we made it work Next you're going to draw on the shape that you would like um, <laughs> You know what? It is best to take accurate measurements. I just did a freehand, which actually turned out pretty good, but I wish I would have actually used proper measurements and done it correctly. Next, I use this mini grinder, which I just kind of stole from my dad. And I used it to cut through the mannequin using a very sharp blade. This is the scariest part of the entire process because I did not have any protective gear. Um, so I just used a pair of glasses. Next, I cut out two holes on each side of the mannequin so that a strap can be put through. So this is what it looks like once it is cut and it's very rough around the edges but we are going to smoothen that out. Using a what is this called? Sandpaper tool. I'm going to now smoothen out the entire mannequin. So now I'm 
gonna clean off the entire thing using a microfiber kitchen cloth. The reason for using this cloth is because it doesn't leave any fibers behind. Okay, so this is my favorite part. I'm now going to spray paint it using Rust-Oleum and obviously like a gloss finish spray because we need it to be real shiny. So this is what it looks like after two coats on each side. I'm not going to put in the straps which are actually belts um, because I couldn't find any straps. If anyone knows where to get straps with buckles, please hit me up in the DM wherever in the comment section. Thank you. So this is the finished product, I absolutely love it, there are a couple of things that I would change when I do this the second time around, but other than that, I am extremely happy and, oh, girl, girl, just look at that, okay, alright, hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe, bye!